Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is k plus 7 to the power of 2, this is equal to 64. So what is the value of k? Let's provide a solution from here. Now, we are going to solve by applying three methods. So let's start with method 1. Let's start with method 1. We have k plus 7 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 64. Now, k plus 7 to the power of 2, this is in the form of a plus b raised to the power of 2. This is the same thing as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Applying this algebraic identity, so here we have k squared plus 2 multiplied by k multiplied by 7 then plus 7 squared, which is 49. This is equal to 64. Now, let's take 64 on the left-hand side so that we have k squared plus, we have 2 times k times 7. This is 14k, then plus 49, subtract 64. This is equal to, to 0. So this is k squared plus 14k. So here we have k squared plus 14k, then plus, uh, th th then 49 minus 64, this is minus 15, this is equal to 0. Now we can solve this, this is a quadratic equation. We can solve this quadratic equation by applying factorization method, where we have the product equal to minus 15, and we have the sum equal to 14. So that means that we identify two factors and these two factors here we have 15 and minus 1. 15 times minus 1 this is minus 15. 15 plus minus 1 this is 14. So let's substitute this. So we have k squared plus 15k subtract k minus 15 this is equal to, to 0. So we have two parts here. So from the first part here, k is common. So we can factor out k so that we have k plus 15. Then subtract 1 is common here. So we can factor out 1 so that we have k plus 15. This is equal to 0. So here we have k plus 15. And then we have k minus 1. This is equal to, to 0. So we have two parts here. The first part is k plus 15. This is equal to 0. And the second part is k minus 1. This is equal to 0. And this implies that k1 is equal to minus 15. And k2 is equal to 1. Now, let's proceed to method 2. Method 2. Now, we have k. We have k plus 7 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 64. Now, let's take 64 on the left-hand side so that we have k plus 7 raised to the power of 2 subtract 64 this is equal to to 0 now we can express 64 this is the same thing as 8 squared so we have k plus 7 this to the power of 2 minus 8 squared this is equal to to 0 so this equation is in the form of a squared minus b squared this is equal to a plus b multiplying by a minus b. Now, this means we have k plus 7, then plus 8, and then we have k plus 7 minus 8. This is equal to 0. So this means here yeah, we have k plus 7 plus 8. This is plus 15. And then here we have k plus 7 minus 8, this is minus 1, 
this is equal to 0. We have two parts here. The first part is k plus 15. This is equal to 0. And the second part is k minus 1. This is equal to 0. So this implies that k1 is equal to minus 15. And we have that k2 is equal to positive 1. Now this is method 2. Now let's, let's solve by applying method 3. Now, remember we have k plus 7 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 64. Now, let's apply the square root on both sides. So we have the square root of k plus 7 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of 64. So let's eliminate the square root sign here so that now we have k plus 7. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of 64. This is 8. So this implies that we have k plus 7. This is equal to 8. And we have that k plus 7. This is equal to minus 8. Now let's start with k plus 7 is equal to 8. Let's take 7 on the right hand side. So that we have k is equal to 8 minus 7. And this means that this is equal to 1. So we have that k1 is equal to 1. On the second part we have k plus 7. This is equal to minus 8. So let's take 7 on the right hand side. So that we have k2. This is equal to minus 8. Subtract 7. And this means that k2 is equal to minus 15. So we have k1 equal to 1. And we have that k2 is equal to minus 15. So this is by applying method 3. So both method 1, method 2, and method 3 gives us the same results. So kindly follow the steps. Like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video.